Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today I have a quick full body Pilates workout for you for when you're short on time. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start today's class on our hands and our knees to gently warm up our spine. Exhale, round your spine, gaze towards your navel. Then inhale, arch your spine and open through your heart center. Two more. Exhale as you round. Inhale as you arch. Moving with your breath here. Beautiful. Curl your toes under and press back into your downward facing dog, really pressing your heels down into the mat. Then bring your feet together and let's just take a few heel lifts up and down, coming up high onto the balls of your feet and then pressing your heels down into your mat. Let's add to this now. So take one heel lift and lower, then shift forward to plank and pull one knee into your chest and then press back. So heels lift, lower, pull your knee in and press back. Keep going. You have six more just like this. Really pull your knee nice and high in towards your chest, making sure you shift your shoulders over your wrists, waking up the entire body. Let's do one more. Beautiful job. Ripple your spine forward to plank and then lower yourself all the way down onto your belly. Release your toes, roll your shoulders back and lift up into a baby cobra. Then take your hands off the floor and exhale, reach your arms forward. Then inhale, sweep your arms back towards your hips. Keep going. On every inhale, really sweep your arms back, opening through your heart center. And on every exhale, as you reach your arms forward, try to find a little extra length through your spine. Keep drawing your navel in towards your spine to protect your back. Let's do one more. Beautiful job. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, press yourself up and then exhale, press back into a child's pose. Then come forward to your hands and your knees again. Really draw your navel in and drop your tailbone. Extend your left leg back and reach your right arm forward. Exhale, pull your elbow to your knee and inhale, extend. Exhale, pull, inhale, extend. Just six more. Really make sure that you're lifting up through your navel and that you're not arching your spine. Last one. Let's hold our arm and leg out. Exhale, open your leg to the side, then inhale, bring it back through center. And as you open the leg, Pull your right elbow in towards your waistline. This is a really good test for our core strength. You've got it. Exhale, open. Inhale, close. Well done. Lower down onto your right forearm now, boxing out your left arm. Let's pull our left knee to our left tricep and extend back. Exhale as you pull, inhale as you extend. Really focus on pressing through your arms, lifting up through your navel, keeping your chest and your shoulders as square to the mat as you can. 
keeping that leg nice and lifted well done hold your knee forward now let's close the knee and open inhale close exhale open keeping your knee in line with your hip and trying to get your inner left thigh parallel to the mat if you can really working the outside of your glutes hold your knee lifted now and let's take 10 pulses up and up just eight more seven six five four three two and one well done come up onto your hands again curl your toes under and press back into your downward facing dog then walk your hands towards your feet and roll up to standing let's step our feet out so that they are mat distance apart with our toes turned out inhale squat down and exhale press up so inhale squat exhale press up reaching your arms by your ears finding lots of length through your spine reaching through your fingertips just two more and last one hold low in your squat and let's pulse it out we pulse down and down as we lift one heel up at a time really shift those glutes back as far as you can staying lifted up through your navel you've got it just four more three two and one well done come back up to standing heel toe your feet to hip distance apart take one big inhale then exhale dive forward walk your hands forward and come into your downward facing dog make sure that your feet are together and let's take that little heel lift combo again so one heel lift and then this time pull one knee across your chest so one heel lift then pull your knee across keep going taking a nice exhale as you pull your knee across your body to the opposite tricep inhale as you lift your heels beautiful job keep pressing through your shoulders well done let's lower our knees down to the mat now and return to our tabletop position this time extend your right leg back and reach your left arm forward exhale pull elbow to knee inhale extend exhale pull inhale extend really try to stay lifted up through your navel and make sure that your hips and your shoulders are square to the mat last one well done exhale open your leg to the side inhale back through center as you pull your left elbow into your waistline and then reach it forward in line with your ear you've got it keeping that leg as lifted as you can two more and last one well done lower down onto your left forearm now boxing out your right arm and let's pull a right knee to right elbow and then extend back exhale pull inhale extend really try to keep your right knee nice and lifted as you pull it forward aiming for the inner thigh to stay parallel to the floor let's hold the knee forward now and close the knee and open so inhale close exhale open 
keeping your right knee in line with your right hip if you can you've got it use your breath to help you now hold your knee open and let's pulse it up for 10 9 nice exhale and exhale six more five four three two and a one well done send your hips back and then roll to one side to come on to your glutes finding a seated position on your mat inhale sit up nice and tall then exhale roll yourself all the way down onto your back imprint your spine so press your lower back down into the mat and then lift your right leg to a tabletop position and place your right hand behind your head from here lift your head and shoulders up and then press your left hand into the top of your right thigh inhale extend your arm and leg out exhale come back in and then inhale lower your head and exhale curl back up so inhale arm and leg extend exhale they come in inhale lower your head exhale lift your head keep going so what i want you to do in this exercise is really press your left hand into your right thigh but keep your right knee stacked over your hips so that you have a little extra challenge for your abdominals using our own resistance here to generate a little bit more heat in the abs Keep. well done let's hold our head lifted now and take little curls up and up really pressing your hand into your thigh just six more five you've got it four little higher three two and one ouch you should have felt that i know i did okay let's go straight to the other side so take your left hand behind your head lift your left leg to tabletop and press your right hand into your thigh let's lift our head to start then inhale reach your arm and leg out exhale close inhale lower your head exhale lift keep going make sure that as you extend your arm and leg out that you're keeping your lower back pressing down into the mat maintaining your imprinted spine try to lift up a little bit higher each time that you curl your head up you're doing so well okay on this next one hold your curl let's take those baby curls up and up nice exhale and exhale really press your hand into your thigh four more three two and one so good rest your head down maybe turn your head right and left if you need to and then let's stretch our arms and legs out long ready for our roll-ups so inhale lift your head and shoulders up exhale reach over your legs inhale roll yourself back down with control and exhale arms reach overhead one more inhale roll up exhale round forward and then inhale round back and let's stop halfway in our c curve then exhale twist to the right lifting your knee inhale center exhale twist left inhale center really make sure that you're dropping your ribs down towards your hips keeping your abs nice and engaged last one 
Well done. Roll yourself back down with control onto your back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Let's lift our head and shoulders and inhale, reach your arms and legs out. Exhale, pull everything back in. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Really make sure that your head and shoulders are nice and lifted and that your chin is slightly dropped down towards your chest. You've got it. Last one. Well done. Rest your head down. Reach those arms and legs out long again and let's return to our roll-ups. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, reach over your legs. Inhale, roll back down and exhale, arms reach overhead. Again, inhale, roll up. Exhale, round forward. And then let's round back, stopping halfway. Exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Option to straighten your legs this time if you want a little extra challenge or keep them bent just like what we did last time. Two more. Last one. Well done. Let's roll ourselves onto our back again. Pull your knees in towards your chest and this time extend your legs up towards the ceiling with your toes turned out. Take your hands behind your head and lift your head and shoulders up. Let's lower our legs straight down, open them and lift them back up. So they lower straight down, open, lift and close. Just two more in this direction. Last one. Now reverse it. Open your legs, lower them, bring them together and lift. Just three more. Keeping your lower back pressing down into the mat. Last one. Well done. Let's finish with our crisscross now. So you just twist and twist, pulling opposite elbow to opposite knee. You've got it guys, just four more, three, two, and one. Well done, rest your head down. That was a quick and tough little ab series. So let's rock the length of our spine up to seated now and come to our final little push of class. So come to a push up position on your mat with your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Keeping your toes curled under, let's take one tricep push up, then lift your knees off the mat and take two shoulder taps, then lower your knees back down. So one push up on your knees and then lift your knees and take those shoulder taps in your high plank. You've got it. Take this at your own pace. Nice inhale as you bend your elbows, exhale as you press up. You've got it, you're almost there. On this next one, let's lose the push up and just take the shoulder taps. You tap and tap, trying to keep your hips as still as you can. Just four more, three, two, and one. Well done. Final little challenge. Lower down onto your forearms. Really draw up through your navel and let's take side taps with our legs. So we tap to the side and come back through center. Now stay here or if you want to finish class with a bang, you can jump those feet out and in. You've got it guys. Just three more seconds. Two, and a one. Well done. Lower your knees down and press back into your very well-deserved child's pose. Enjoy this time to take deep breaths and allow all the muscles in your body to just relax.
Then carefully roll your spine up to seated, vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Then exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, straighten your arms as you open your chest. Really opening your heart to the sky here as you feel a beautiful stretch for your shoulders. Then carefully release and let's come to a cross-legged position in the center of our mat. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over, feeling a nice stretch through the right side of your body. And then turn your chest to the floor and sweep around to the other side. Then come back up. Other side, inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Exhale as you sweep around to the other side and come back up. Let's do two more, just because this feels so good. And last one. Beautiful job. Let's finish class now, like always, with one last big inhale, reaching your arms up and exhale, lower your hands to your heart. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this quick but effective full body Pilates workout. If you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member, and subscribe to my channel.